Justin Herbert has burst onto the scene so quickly that I think a lot of us are having trouble finding a place to rank him. Where does he rank amongst the top quarterbacks? But when I look at Herbert play, when I'm looking at this season, when I'm when I'm looking at last season and this season, to me, I think Justin Herbert is a top three quarterback in the NFL. And when we're talking, yes, or and just this season, period. Okay. And w- when we're talking about the top young quarterbacks, Josh Allen, Kyler, Herbert, Mahomes, I would have to sit for a minute and think about who I'm taking between Herbert and Mahomes. I would have to sit, and I might go with Herbert. I said last Justin week. Herbert has done. You called me crazy for it. Justin Herbert has done something that no other quarterback in NFL history has done. Not even Patrick Mahomes. Herbert came in as a rookie in a COVID-riddled season, no training camp, threw 30 touchdowns, broke every single rookie passing record this season. In the offseason, there was talks about regression. He's put those to bed. Talk. Under a new offensive system, has thrown 30 touchdowns once again. Mahomes, even with sitting for an entire year and throwing 50 touchdowns in his second season, in his third season, he threw 26. He didn't even do what Herbert is doing right now. And Justin Herbert is a player who, in college at Oregon, had four different offensive coordinators, goes into the NFL, has an offensive coordinator, then his second year has a different one. Herbert has had six different offensive coordinators in the past six seasons, and he's doing this. Imagine Herbert staying in one system, being steady in it. Imagine how dangerous this guy can be. When I'm ranking my top quarterbacks, I think Aaron Rodgers is number one. Because of brand name recognition, you have to go with Tom Brady, right? But I think even if if you ask somebody, hey, Tom Brady or Justin Herbert, you're probably That's going great. Justin Herbert right now. You're talking about then, like this season or for the future? This season. I, I, Brady might be the best quarterback. I Brady's number one like, for me. Yes. I don't. Okay. I know. I, I, I look, you're, you're I, I think if you, if you give just over 4,000 yards, if you give MVP right now, I understand. Like, if bro. you give Justin Herbert, Mike Williams, Chris Godwin, Rob Winkowski, and everything I know what they you got, mean. Yes, I mean, Mike, come Mike on. Evans. Bro, but you're going to pretend like the Chargers Keenan don't have Allen, Keenan Mike, Allen, yeah, Mike, Mike Williams, Williams, Austin Eckler. Like, he's got plenty he's got of weapons. Dogs. And his O-line's solid this season. The two receivers you named me, Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, aren't aren't even as good as Mike Evans. They're, Keenan yes, Allen they're is good. in the conversation. They're really good. Keenan they're, Allen's in that conversation. Above, Keenan, yeah, Allen, Keenan is, Allen is year Keenan in and year Allen out. Is, would Keenan be Allen the, is, is very similar to Mike Williams, where year in and year out, he puts up really good numbers. Keenan Allen Mike would Evans. be that's, the fourth best receiver on the Bucks. Uh, what? He'd be the fourth Who? best receiver on the Bucks. Keenan Allen. He's including Antonio a, Brown. Including AB? I don't think so. I think he's better than AB. Okay. Well, See, when, that's tough for me because... I know. I know. That's so tough. You're biased. Okay, but. so my list this season then, I look at Aaron Rodgers and I think he's the best quarterback in the league. Just playing mistake-free football efficiently. Because Brady is a better leader, I might put Brady ahead of him. And Brady does all the things Rodgers does in terms of being efficient and being clutch. Then that number three spot for me between Herbert and Mahomes, who am I taking? Like, Kyler's up there. I think, I mean, Kyler to me, I'm taking Mahomes and Herbert over him. I'm not even thinking about it. Easy though. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not The only thing that stops me is his injuries the last two years. If you're telling me, even if he's healthy, I'm not taking him. I'm not taking Kyler over Mahomes or Herbert. It's, I'd probably take them too, but I I think he's in the discussion. I think the third best quarterback in the NFL above Mahomes is Justin Herbert for me. This guy is doing something historic and, we were talking about this game versus the Chiefs. Justin Herbert, his stats versus them, 298 yards per game, 10 touchdowns to one interception, a 117 passer rating. Whenever he faces Mahomes, he says, I'm about to show it to you. <laughs> and remember Mahomes' comment in the offseason, I'll, I'll see it when I believe it. He flip-flopped yeah. the words, and Herbert's showing him. And I, he showed him the first match of this season that I can outplay you. Let's see if he outplays him tomorrow. But I think Justin Herbert, this guy is, he's special. He is, he is. special. He, see, that's that and, 4.0 biology major. That's why he's able six OCs, 4.0. Because, that's why he's, he's smart. And because Herbert has been so great, because Burrow bursts onto the scene as well, because Deshaun Watson bursts onto the scene, it's made it, made it really hard for people to now evaluate rookie quarterbacks because we all think they have to be these guys. But 
they're once in a generation. What Justin Herbert is doing, we will never see again. At least in the two first two seasons for a rookie quarterback, this record might years. stay for a very long time. I'm saying 30 touchdowns back-to-back years. Yep. That was record, right? Yeah. First two seasons in the league. I'll just say this really quick because he threw a little shot at me saying, you know, uh, you know, you come onto the show, you get your minor W, you know, you never get him. Here we are. A couple of weeks after I had said Herbert has looked better than Mahomes this season. Yeah, I we would, were in agreement. I would, I would take Herbert over Mahomes right now. So I'll take that minor W right now, right? Hey, I take you that say, too because I was there. You say I, I was get, there. You, you say I, I lose every debate. So I just I had to throw my shot in there. No, no problem about that one. I just felt like the tone in your voices. It was awfully disrespectful <laughs> to the main man, Mahomes. I, listen, That's you my just guy. disrespected him. You just yeah. disrespected him. I didn't disrespect him no not key. once. You just took. Three players over him. Aaron Rodgers, Brady, and Herbert. Right? That's you not ju- crazy. That's disrespect. The Herbert one, I mean, that's hard. I I don't call you crazy. I wouldn't call you crazy. Brady and, and Rodgers, if you're just talking this year, I agree. Because Mahomes, his his mechanics just seemed a little bit off. His turnover-worthy plays are up. But the Herbert thing, See, he's that's, right there. It's Rogers, close. I Rogers still would take that, Mahomes, but it's so close. He's that perfect example of, like, the stats don't need to be there. Where he's not top five in, in Rogers, passing yeah. yards, touchdowns. He just knows how to manipulate They're one of the game. S- the reason it's just why with Rodgers, it's... I'm taking Brady one, though. That's where you... Yes. That's the only difference. It's just with Rodgers. You look at Aaron Rodgers, and you see what he has. Then you look at Mahomes, and you look at Brady, and you see what they have. In terms of weapons? Yes. Okay. And you see that they have drastically better situations offensively than Rodgers. This year, the Packers offensive line has been a bottom 20 offensive no line. No doubt. They haven't been that great. And Rodgers is still succeeding and playing efficient football. Yep, he is. I mean, a bad season for this guy is throwing two picks. For sure. And for the entire year. <laughs> yeah, I know like, what you mean. Two years ago, he threw two picks the entire year. They're talking about if he's washed. You know, so that's a bad season for him. Yeah. If you put Rodgers with the Bucks and you replace him and Brady, does Aaron Rodgers not break Payne's records? He might. <sighs> I don't want to hear this. He might. I don't want to hear this. No, but one, I will say I, this. I don't know if t- this is this is why it's hard maybe. because football is much more than just your skill and what you possess. For sure. Because Aaron Rodgers, I think we know talent wise and where they're at age wise right now, he probably has the edge over Tom Brady. But do I think Aaron Rodgers can lead a team like Brady? Can motivate men like yeah, Brady? He's a very weird. Not at all. You're saying Rodgers. He has a very like prickly kind of. So you if know. I, if I'm picking one player. You're going to be the leader for my team. You're going to be the quarterback for my team. I'm going with Tom Brady because yeah. he's a better leader than Rodgers. Yes. Yep. But amongst the, uh, amongst the young quarterbacks, though, like Kyler, Allen, Mahomes, Herbert, Zach Wilson, I, I probably <laughs> I'm going with Justin Herbert probably. And but yeah, hey. even if I go with Mahomes, it's like I got to think about it for a minute, yes. and then I'm picking. Mahomes. Those are the only two. Like, I, I have think- to think. I think after that, there's a tiny gap between Kyler. I'm and going like, Allen over Kyler. I disagree wholeheartedly. I'm going I, Allen over Kyler. Bro. I don't know, bro. Kyler Josh so Allen. Special. Josh Allen is special. He, he, no, I'm not taking are, anything yeah. away from Josh. Josh Allen is special. Kyler just can make some plays that... That only he can yeah, make. Yeah, literally, man. And, like, the only thing for Josh Allen. Was he, was he running away from Aaron Donald? I'm asking. I don't know. I'm not. I'm, I'm With asking. The, the yes. rush you're saying? Yeah, no. Like, the one that he's scrambling, that he throws the ball to A.J. Green. Who was he getting chased by? Because that play was crazy. I don't remember off the top of my head. Bro, he, Josh Allen, he's 6'5". He has the size. He gives some good daps, too. I believe it. <laughs> His hand's probably double what my hand size is. 